Etika from the Etika World Network supports map rights. No, he doesn't. You took his name without his permission, and honestly, at this point, you can't get permission from him, and that just proves how wrong this is. The fact that there are people that would honestly use this as a promotional type of thing, not only that, but using him as their promotional kind of caterer, just proves how low some people will go for certain things. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to r slash I am a total POS. If you like what you're seeing and the other videos being released during the month of August, be sure to slam the like button, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Smashing people's androids and then giving them the iPhone 11. Yeah, no, I hate the iPhone just in general. Yeah, but thanks for causing about $1,000 in property damage and then giving me something I didn't ask for. The only reason you don't get in trouble is because these videos are obviously very, very fake. Because honestly, if they showed what actually would happen if you walked up and smashed somebody's phone, it could not be aired on YouTube. Good for them. The beer virus is a global hoax. That's enough to make you convert to atheism. May God bless the doctors and nurses stuck treating them. Well, here's the next virus hotspot. Good luck. Hope you all make it through without risking the life of the elders. Elders? Look, I see about like at least five people who want to speak to the manager. Thank you, you ignorant lot. Because of you, I have not been able to go to a lot of the things I would like to go to, like Ocean City Jeep Week. Thanks for ruining that for me. And don't even start about that whole mask mandate, my body, my choice, or the whole my mask, my right to not wear a mask kind of thing. <laughs> it's a dress code. Don't you just gotta love it when people get a minor inconvenience mixed up with constitutional rights? I'm thinking about reporting my laptop and iPhone stolen to the police, so the insurance company I'm signed on gives me money. I'll get $2,868 so I can pay off my new laptop and I can pay off the iPhone I have now and sell this iPhone and downgrade to an iPhone SE for a while because my economy is shot. I just need to think of a really good story to tell the police because it needs to be believable. I'm thinking about saying that my phone and laptop got stolen at Starbucks. OMG, my sister came up with a brilliant idea. She said that I can say I was at the beach and I was trying to get a tan and when I opened my eyes, all of my things were gone. You know, I might not be a mastermind at taking things nor advocate saying this is okay. Uh, you know, I would just not post it online for the public to see. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you wind up on world's dumbest criminals. Florida man, of course, buys Lamborghini with $3.9 million from federal beer virus loans prosecuted say. Okay, one, I'm wondering how in the world he got that big of a loan, and secondly, that is a Lamborghini Huracan, so I'm wondering what he did with the other $3.6 million. Eh, probably Florida Man stuff. I'm putting bets on Super Gators. Okay, look, we can make all of the babies named Kyle jokes all we want, but uh, we all know that they're just jokes, right? Uh, well, except for this person who thinks that this is gonna make your baby do a backflip, but uh, no, you do not deserve to have kids if you treat them like this. I cut holes in my mask so I can breathe. Sure, I'll wear it. <laughs> Nobody is going to stop me from breathing fresh air. Freak that. Uh, yes, everybody who is at the doors of the businesses you try going into can stop you and will. Also, it looks like I found a new subreddit to have some fun with. Oh god, I've seen this guy's post. I hope he's a troll, because honestly, if anything, he looks like Squidward after he got hit by the door. Not even doing that as a compliment. He quite literally looks like Squidward when he got hit by the door. Drove the Xmas Miata up to the northeast to celebrate the big man's birthday birthday god, spreading holiday gains and leaving coal for the local servers. This is the time of year where truth offers lessons that far outweigh any material possessions. Left a free truth bomb for a server that all just assume is a single mother who was wearing a shirt that said, the future is female. LMFAO, WTF does that even mean? Stay shredded friends and have a tip free 2019. Every time you stiff a server, an angel gets its wings. Oh, dude, why? I hope you're not trying to impress anybody with that Miata. I'm sorry, but donk, uh, it's not my thing. And really? On a $49 bill, you just leave that as a tip? No. And dude, your whole outfit looks like you went to Hot Topic first and then Dick's Sporting Goods secondly. And that might as well be your entire wardrobe, I bet. Scientifically, people are born as maps. Therefore, hating maps is another form of racism and homophobia. Stop map hatred and to make the world a better place. For those of you that are still wondering what the acronym for MAP stands for, it's Minor Attractive Person or, you know, Pedo. Why I'm not wearing a mask. Ah boy, here we go. 
I'm not an epidemiologist, I'm a philosopher, and therefore I care about consistency. When those telling you to wear masks because beer virus is serious health crisis are the same goons who gave their blessing to the BLM protesters during lockdown, you become somewhat jaded to the incessant virtue signaling. The reason I won't be wearing a mask is because I straight up don't believe you, and I don't believe you because you're barking is madly incoherent, and the incoherence between your positions on all the various topics you so desperately want to involve yourself in has totally exposed you all as undiscerning members of a crowd. You are not able to speak anything apart from the script written for you, which is why the only people who believe you sound exactly like you do. Despite all of this, people tell me that I'm better off erring on the side of caution, but I will always err on the side of consistency, and I will always err to the side of freedom. This isn't about public health, this is about control, and they've already criminalized the only defense against overreaching governments, you know, guns. So, if I may conclude by way of borrowing from your script, I am not going to wear a mask because hashtag my body, my choice. TLDR, you're incapable of an original thought, and your world views are a hot mess. Sort that out, and then maybe you can offer some input into what I do with my face. You're definitely not an epidemiologist. You're a freaking nut. Interesting that you say your body, your choice, and yet you are pro-life. Yeah, you know the uh, whole my body, my choice, yet you are against freedom of choice. Oh, wait, we gotta really uh, take this into effect here. We're dealing with some big, high 189 IQ genius level stuff where it's only convenient for them. Search for Anne Frank's house on Instagram. Instagram location search tab, hashtag a-holes. I actually had to look this one up to see if it was true, and it actually is. Like, when you search up Anne Frank's house on Instagram for locations, half of them are just these types of posing in front of the house photos. I, I'm a head out. You know they were giving you dirty looks the entire time they saw you drawing this, right? Hey, yeah, man, how about next time you ask for the crayons in the kitty menu? Elderly Irish man makes a heartbreaking appeal for the safe return of his best friend after his dog was stolen. Okay, why do people even think this is okay? Oh, I could have more fun with that dog. He'll be happy happier with me, just pluck the dog without any other remorse. Low risk, breathable. This is quite opposite of the definition of low risk. You know, we can all just guarantee that in about a month or so, there's going to be a, an hour-long compilation of people wearing these, wondering why they aren't allowed to go in and want to speak to the manager. Just because you have something covering your face does not mean it's effective. I have four cichlid fish left for free. I'm going to flush them in an hour unless someone wants them for free. I'm tired of tank maintenance. You know, there's a legit reason to want to rehome pets, like if you're going to a place that isn't able to accommodate them, or you aren't able to maintain them or take care of them might financially, but but if you're just bored, then uh, you never should have gotten him in the first place. Oh, and the whole flushing part? Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna kill these animals. I don't want them anymore. You might as well have just said that. If you took a pack from blank, I would like to have it back. It's my mother's ashes. Are see people really just up for stealing anything nowadays? Okay, you know what, if you are that much of a degenerate to actively seek out ways to just make people's lives inconvenient and do this, you really need to be flex taped to your chair at home. Like seriously, was there no better spot for you to put gum anyway that, you know, was not in a trash can? Man spit at a 69 year old woman at Walmart after she asked him to wear a mask, Pennsylvania cops say. You know, with everything going on in the world today, I would honestly hope that people would be a little more respectful to people who have to work and are marked as essential employees. However, unfortunately, we seem to be doing the exact opposite and people are just treating them even worse now. Seriously, it does not ruin your day to put a covering on your mask for like 20 minutes. I don't know how long you're shopping at Walmart for. When flying and you want the entire row to yourself, take off your mask. When they ask to replace a simple frick you is all you need. And all three seats to myself stretched out. Check back in for more travel tips with Chris. Thanks. Hey, uh, Chris, 
Welcome to the no-fly list, you degenerate. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you would like to show your support and be amazing, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.